Hey everyone, it's Melanie Ham. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beanie. This is the same beanie tutorial from several years back, my how to crochet a beanie. It's totally beginner friendly. That video, that video was at the beginning of my crochet video tutorial career <laughs> and I used a dark yarn and I've been meaning to redo this video for a long time now. So it's the same uh, pattern as that video, but this one is just much better shot. You can see what I'm doing a lot easier now that I know so much more about making videos and putting them on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's very beginner friendly. And if you have any questions on the yarn or the hook that I use, you can see the description box underneath the video and that will give you all the information that you need. So let's jump right in and I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to start this hat with a magic ring. And I know a lot of times beginners don't like to use magic rings, they get confused, but really it's a better way to start a hat. So I'm gonna go nice and slow while I teach you this ma uh, magic ring part. Um, and it once you get it, it really will make your hats so much better and easier at the beginning, okay? So just trust me on this beginners. I want you to hold your open end, your free end here. And then we're gonna take our working yarn. So the working yarn is the yarn that's attached to your ball. Okay, so then we're gonna take this, we're gonna wrap it around two or three fingers, doesn't really matter. We're gonna create a little X. Okay, so just follow along. It's a little cloudy, so bear with me with the lighting here. Then what you're going to do is insert your hook into the circle, and we're gonna pull up the working yarn into a loop. Okay. So just kind of hold everything there and straighten out your yarn. And then make a, just one little stitch, yarn over, pull it through. Okay, there we go. That's really all there is to it, okay? I know that it seems harder than it is, but um, just go through that part of the video a few times. It takes a little bit of practice. It was hard for me at the beginning too, so don't feel um, like you're the only one because you're not. So then you can pull on the free end and that will create a little bit smaller loop. We don't need to work with a loop so large. Now what we're gonna do is double crochet 12 stitches right inside of our circle. All right, so a double crochet is yarn over. We're gonna insert it right into that circle. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, two loops yarn over, two loops. That's our double crochet. All right. So now we're gonna do it again. Yarn over, insert it into the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, two loops, two loops. Yarn over, insert into the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, two loops, two loops. Okay, now I want you to keep doing that until you have 12 double crochets in your circle. Then I'll meet you back here and show you what to do. So let's count here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, 12. So the little stitch that we made at the beginning with our magic circle, that doesn't count as a stitch. It's only our double crochets. Okay, so we have 12. Now what we're going to do is, here's our stitch, and here is, this is the little V stitch. This is the stitch that's at the top of the first double crochet. So we're going to insert yarn over, pull through, pull through the yarn on the hook. That's a slip stitch. Now we can pull on that free end and watch. This is why it's magic. Wink. There we go. Now our hat has a tiny little center. That's what we're trying to achieve with the magic circle is a small center. So you can just give that a good tug and now you don't have any weird hole or anything at the center. Okay, chain two, one, two. 
And then we are going to double crochet two times in the first stitch. Okay, so not the one we just came out of because that doesn't count. We're gonna go down over here and we're gonna double crochet two times. So we're gonna insert it. This is the little V shape. That's what you're looking for. And you insert your hook into both of those threads. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over two, two. And then another double crochet in the same stitch that we just did. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next stitch. So you can see here's the next one and then the next one and the next one. Okay, so the next stitch is here. We're gonna do one double crochet. All right, and then two in the same stitch. And then one. All right, and then two. So we're gonna continue this going all the way around. Two double crochet, then one, two, then one, two, then one. So let's finish that up and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, I wanna go over something really quick. This is my very high-tech post-it note. Um, a lot of people get confused on this, especially beginners. This is something that you'll see in pattern. So this is two double crochet. DC is the abbreviation for the American term double crochet uh, for crochet terminology. This means that it's two double crochet in the same stitch. Double crochet two means in two consecutive stitches. So two stitches next to one another. Okay, so this is something that really makes people confused. So I wanna make sure that we are going over that because the next round, really, this is the fourth round. Technically, if you consider magic circle round one, I have all the written instructions in the description box that'll all be listed out. But this next round with the instructions always confuses people. So let's finish up this round and this is important. We're finishing this one up. We have our two, our one, two, and one. We need to have a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so make sure you have 18. two in the same stitch. And then there's another stitch right here. Okay, I want you to do your last stitch. It should be a single double crochet, like one of them. Okay, now you have 18. I double checked myself so that I know that there's 18. And then we are going to slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet. So here it is, you see that little V stitch? This is our turning chain. So this is, remember we did chain one, one, two at the beginning. So this is one, two. Then here's the top of our first double crochet. So this is where we're slip stitching. Yarn over, pull through. So that's our slip stitch, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing again. One, two. And then we are gonna do two double crochet, double crochet two. So not stitching in the chain we came out of, we've already sort of used that up. So we are going to double crochet two. Okay, and then one. And then in the next one over. Okay, so next to each other. So two double crochet, double crochet two. We're gonna do that same thing, going all the way around, two in the same stitch. Okay, and then we'll go 
double crochet, double crochet next to each other, consecutive stitches. All right, so go ahead and do that. Finish this round. I'll meet you back here. Okay, now you're gonna notice it's gonna start turning into a hat shape. You should have 24 stitches. Okay, so make sure. A little trick to know if you're on the right track is if you're ending with your single stitches, so not where we're increasing. So when we do two stitches in one stitch uh, in a hat, that's where we're increasing. We're making it larger in order for us to fit ahead, right? So then the two consecutive double crochets are, should be what you're finishing the round with because we started with the double crochet, if that makes sense. If that's confusing, just count them and make sure you have 24. Okay, so double crochet. And then this is gonna be the foundation for our pattern. You will notice in the written instructions and I recommend that you print out the written instructions and follow along with them while you're making your hat. Okay, so here's again our turning chain. So this was one, two, this is the top of that double crochet stitch. So that is where we are double, that is where we are slip stitching, excuse me. Yarn over, yarn over, that's our slip stitch. And then we're gonna continue, same exact thing. Chain two, but now instead of double, two double crochet, double crochet two, so we did two then one, two then one. Now we're doing two then two, two then two. Now it's two then three, two then three. So that's basically the pattern that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be increasing the hat for several more rounds. Okay, so again, don't go into this first stitch with that we already came out of, we already used it up. Yarn over, double crochet. Same stitch. Okay, that's one. We're gonna go two, three. Okay, three consecutive double crochets. Two, one, two, three, then we'll go two in the same stitch, one, two, three. All right, so continue that going all the way around. Okay, so same thing, here's our two, one, two, three, we know that's our little hint that I didn't miscount anywhere along the way, but you need to have 30 stitches, okay, 30 stitches at the end of this round. Same exact thing, don't do the turning chain. We're gonna slip stitch into the top of that initial double crochet. Okay, now the exact same thing, chain two. We're gonna do two double crochet, but instead of three, it'll be four. So it'll be double crochet two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, et cetera. All right, print out the written instructions. They will be linked for you in the description box. And you are gonna go ahead and keep doing that all those rounds up until you get to two double crochet, double crochet six. Okay, so it'll be four, this round is four, five, and then six, which would be a total of 48 stitches. Again, print out those written instructions, that way you have all of those numbers right in front of you so you can follow along with that. Once you hit this round, 48 stitches, we, I will meet you back up here and then we will be done increasing and we'll go ahead and just be standard double crocheting all the way around till we reach our desired hat size. But for now, go ahead and finish out the next couple of rounds until you have finished two double crochet, double crochet six, which should equal 48 stitches. All right, so we have completed our rounds, just to catch you up here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six okay so remember we've got this little guy right at the base of our chain two that we can't forget about all right so double crochet in there to finish out our 48 stitches and our final round of increasing all right so then we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet just like we were doing before insert your hook yarn over pull through pull through Okay, now kind of give yourself a little slack. And one of the things that I recommend as you're making this hat, you can see how it sort of is a little bit conical, a little bit. There's, we don't want it to be too cone-shaped. 
So I sort of just fit it to my own head. You wanna flatten it down and kind of spread it out right on your head, kind of like I just did here and see this is how it should look. So periodically shape it to your head uh, even if it's not for you, it just will kind of help with the overall shape of the hat as you continue stitching around. Now what we are doing is we are going to double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. No more increasing. We've already made our hat the proper size for an adult. So we are going to chain two still. And then we are going to, you know, skip this first one exactly like we did before double crochet, but only one in each stitch going all the way around. So here's one. And we're basically going to do that till the very end until you reach your desired size. And I will have a chart linked in the description box for popular sizes and kind of a, a good little a reference point. So do one double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. And then when I come back here, I'll show you kind of how to do this transition. Okay, here we are at the transition. I shaped it to my head again. So we have a nice kind of bowl shape, head shape that we're working with. Now, don't forget, we have two more stitches here. One, two, we can't forget this guy. Otherwise it'll make a weird kind of gap. So we don't want that. So we're going to finish out this round and then we're basically just going to continue like we did before and just ignore that chain two altogether. Okay. So just ignore this chain two from the beginning and we're going to yarn over and just place a double crochet right in the top of that stitch where we would normally uh, slip stitch into. And then just kind of make sure you give you give that a little bit of a tug because we don't want this to be too large of a gap. We want it to sort of be inconspicuous. And then you can continue going all the way around. If this, if the gap is a little bit too large and you're having trouble with this, then slip stitch chain two just like we've been doing and, and completing the hat that way is absolutely fine. This just makes it so you don't have to do that going around. And by the end of your hat, it creates a nice kind of transition. So you can see that here. All right, so go ahead and one double crochet all the way around. All right, so we are at about seven and a half inches. You can see about there. So now I'm going to, it's a little bit longer than that. So now I'm going to do my single crochet edging, uh, similar to this hat. So I'm going to do two rounds of single crochet and then we'll do a slip stitch edge. That's optional. You don't have to, you could finish it off just like this if you want to, but it does sort of create a finished look on your hat. So here we are, you can see our little transition over here and then everything has kind of spiraled down. You can sort of see how that's sort of worked itself out. And I'm going to just start single crocheting. So right here at this join, this you know will be at the back of your head, so you won't see any of these transitions. And we're gonna single crochet. And a single crochet is insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. All right, so it's a little bit smaller stitch. And we're still gonna do the same thing where we are doing that in each stitch going all the way around. All right, so here's kind of how it's looking. So I want you to do that all the way around and then I'll show you what it looks like at this transition piece. So finish going all the way around your hat. If you have trouble seeing the differences in your stitches, definitely use a stitch marker. Um, but you can see right here, this is the initial single crochet where we started. So we wanna finish up, you know, close to that. So all of our transitions are in one spot. Now what I'm going to do is slip stitch around the entire edge of my hat and that's going to really create a nice finished look. And a slip stitch is insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over that loop, pull through that loop on the hook. Okay, so one more time. 
insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, and continue through the loop on your hook. And then we're gonna do that in every stitch going around and I'll show you sort of the look that it creates. You can also just do this at the edge of your double crochet if you don't want to continue with the single crochet little edge. And you can see right here, it kind of creates this little, this nice little edging versus this edge. So you can see this versus this. So that's what the little slip stitch edge does. So if you want to do that, continue doing that all the way around and I'll show you how to fasten off. All right, so here we are. This is where we started over here. So when we finish it up, we're gonna continue basically all the way to the end. We start here. You can kind of see where that stitch kind of comes onto the side of the hat. That's, and, and again, if you need a stitch marker, then please use a little st stitch marker or a safety pin. That will work also bobby pin, hair clip, I mean, you could really improvise with that. All right, so here's our last one. So you can see there, we can kind of create that, that little edge. So then what we'll do is trim our yarn. Leave yourself six to eight inches of tail because then we're gonna weave it in. So what we'll do is we'll just pull that yarn through, give it a tug. And now get a yarn needle. This is a yarn needle, it's metal or plastic and has a large eye like this. And we will weave in. So this is the outside of the hat. So what we'll do is sew the end in on the inside of the hat. And we're gonna do the same thing with that initial magic ring tail. So we gotta make sure, don't forget to do that one too in the center inside of the hat. And to weave these in, we want to sort of go back and forth and make sure that it's all hidden. That way, if you want to wash the hat, everything is gonna be secure and there'll be no unraveling. So I kind of like to go one direction and then kind of go up, back up, the opposite direction. So that way that's kind of going back and forth. There's a little bit of a zigzag. And once you have done a good job of weaving in the tail and you feel confident that it's secure and you trim it, and don't forget to do the same thing with the inside of our hat. You can give it a good little pull and weave in this tail as well. All right, that's it. What did you guys think of this hat? Double crochet, beginner friendly. We've got a nice finished edge here with our single crochet border and our slip stitch edging. Here is how you crochet a beanie.